this is really cool but also really terrifying if I'm not gonna lie. Oh my god. Good morning. I am at Flippus Lakes. I need to learn how to pronounce these lakes. Anyway, National Park in Croatia. And I stayed in the village last night, which is really close by. So it's with an M. I'll put it here. That's where you need to stay if you are taking a bus here and you want to get to the park early in the morning before any shuttles or anything starts. There's this beautiful little trail that walks through the woods. It's really not that bad when you're only carrying a day pack. Too many cubes. It's a bill. Ah. This is not a fun walk when you are carrying all of your shit. Um, so I'm trying to get here early to beat the crowds. And so there's like good like photos. So I am on my way to the park and I will catch you guys there. Okay, it's 7.20. I just got inside the park. There's like, knock on wood, there's like no one else here right now. So I've got my tourist map and I can hear the lakes and I'm so excited. All right, I'm looking for the sort of trail and I'm actually thinking that I need to take the boat to get there because I don't know you can see it on the map, but I'm trying to get up there and I'm here. <laughs> There's a bit of water between those two. So I think I'll be getting on the ferry, but I actually think I'm gonna put my camera out before that because I'm already seeing some lakes and oh my god, everything is so beautiful. I'm crying, it's so beautiful. I made it onto the very first boat of the day. I am pretty much the only one on here. I'm so excited. Absolutely beautiful. My goodness. Okay. So here's the thing. I have no idea where I'm supposed to be going. I think it's this way. But I should grab my camera out because I'm going to do pictures and that is no one whose path I'm blocking at the moment, so I'm not too worried. So something they don't tell you about the park is that you're quite literally walking over the lake the whole time. We had a very long and strong thunderstorm last night. So I don't know if the water is like extra intense today, but I mean, you're walking over that. I think you can see and hear it. That's quite a strong waterfall to be walking over. <laughs> So there's been a bit of a disaster slash minor setback. Um, I dropped my camera in the lake. Not this one, the one that's not waterproof. I'm heading back here to the bathroom and also hopefully, I don't wanna like grab some rubber towels or like stick it under the hot air vent or something. So hopefully it's not too damaged, but we'll see. <laughs> Alright, so update on the camera, it's not turning on, so I'm just trying not to freak out because if I think about it too much, I'm just going to start bawling. Alright, so, you know how about a couple hours ago, I uh, dropped my camera in the lake and I was like, wow, this is as terrible as it can possibly get. Uh, no, no, no. In a stroke of what I believe can only be, be deemed unbelievably bad luck, I just dropped my phone in the lake too. Yeah, so uh, as of this moment, knock on wood, the phone is doing okay and I am praying to God that the camera recovers because if not, I will kill someone. Uh, metaphorically speaking. So yeah, I'm having a great time today. 
And if you're wondering how I dropped my phone in the lake, it's because I purposefully put the GoPro in the lake because I saw fish and I was like, wow, those fish are awesome. I wanna film the fish. I put my GoPro in the lake, immediately heard my phone fall in, threw everything onto the ground behind me and ended up going into the lake all the way up to my thigh and both my arms got soaked. But I guess I, I should be grateful that I've, I've dropped, you know, both things in places where I could reach them. So, you know, looking on the bright side. <laughs> but yeah, there's a really big waterfall um, right in front of me that's super pretty. So we're gonna go check that out and uh, try not to think about anything else. So we're kind of taking bath K and H, I don't know, but it's just so beautiful. Look at this. Oh. say I absolutely love the fact that we're basically walking over the lake through this it's, oh my god it's stunning it's oh it's so beautiful I can't I'm so stressed and so mad right now but you just can't be completely unhappy in this place it's just it's impossible it's too beautiful <laughs> talking about when I say the trail goes over the waterfalls <laughs> just straight over them this is not what I was expecting but it's quite fun <laughs> uh, every time I think I'm like oh I've seen the beautiful part I've seen I've seen it it's pretty no it just gets prettier <laughs> I'm so kind of obsessed with it ah, I'm attached to my backpack Actually, that's probably not a bad thing. Considering my rate of dropping things today, yeah, maybe being attached to things, not a bad plan. Oh, it's a beautiful, look at that. It's gorgeous. My phone camera is now full of water as well, but at the moment it's still taking pictures, so yay! Ah! I just tried my camera again after a couple hours of drying out. I was hoping it was going to get better, but it's still not turning on. So right now I'm walking back down. I've taken essentially the shortest route through the park, but it's 11.30 in the morning. I'm not done yet. The park doesn't close until I think 6. Um, so, I'm really, really hoping that I can get a working camera. <laughs> Apparently, water changed. The processes of the water changed, and now these, what are they called, tufted barriers? Are very fragile. And so this is why we've got this lovely trail here, is to protect the fragile environment. So, stay on the trail, friends. taking a trip all the way back to town. I got my camera, it's in rice, so fingers crossed on that one, pray to God, that's how it works. Um, and I got ice cream because I was angry, but it was delicious ice cream, so it's okay. And I inhaled lunch, got some water, and I am headed back to the park. It's raining. <laughs> My ability to waterproof things is really being tested today. We're now headed up on the three kilometer scenic boat ride to the lower lake.
that's the type of fish I dropped my phone in the lake to film earlier today. <laughs> Appreciate that fish, please. <laughs> Oh, we're literally walking down. This is really cool, but also really terrifying, if I'm not gonna lie. Oh my god. Almost at the big waterfall. Just the book here stuff. I think. Look at that. It's beautiful. Look at that. Oh, wet. That's what it is. Cold and wet. big waterfall. Now I have to get out of the park before it closes. <laughs> and I don't know exactly how I'm going to do that yet, but we'll make it work. The huge waterfall I just filmed. That's it over there. Probably about a quarter of the way up it. No, I'm probably half third. A lot of up it. I've gone up a lot uphill. And now I have to walk for I think an hour, unless the buses are still running, which would be a miracle. So yeah, we'll see how that goes. <laughs> All right, we made it. The shuttle bus actually runs until 18, so I could have spent a bit more time at the falls, but I was uninformed. <laughs> I really didn't want to get stuck walking back all the way, so just waiting for the bus, and then just going to go home and recover, because fingers crossed my camera will be all good tomorrow morning, and I can go back and take pictures all day. Spoiler alert, my camera didn't start working the next day or the day after that. And I think this was a really important lesson that travel can teach you, is that I could have let losing something really special ruin my entire day, and I would have missed out on all the beauty of Pluviche Lakes. So when you're traveling and something kind of crap happens, it's sometimes important to remember that you're still in an amazing place and you still have the opportunity to make this a great experience, despite the fact that it didn't go exactly as you planned. And if you're wondering, did my camera ever start working again? Well, you'll just have to subscribe and see. Oh yeah, and please like this video if you enjoyed it and want to see more.